Hello everyone. Today is October 10th, 2024. Weather is great, so nice, so cool. Thank you for coming to the third class. May everyone, every day, be a great day. Konnichiwa. Kyou wa 2024-nen 10月 to desu. 第3回目の授業にお越しいただきありがとうございます。毎日が良い日になりましょう。你好，今天是二零二四年十月四日。我感谢你来上第三次课，祝你每天都有个好心情。Today Bible verse is Matthew chapter five verse forty eight. I'd like to play the native speakers' uh, record. Matthew chapter five verse forty eight. Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. 所以你们要完全像你们的天父完全一样。それだからあなた方の天の父が完全であられるようにあなた方も完全なものとなりなさい。Okay, how was it? Uh, the voice was recorded by the this book uh, writers together uh, Japanese from the Kayo no Naka Sensei and Chinese from the uh, Lao Shi uh, Jia Yi. Uh, you can purchase this book uh, in at the Amazon store. Uh, you can get some more detailed um, explanation uh, of what I'm doing. Okay, uh, let's read together from Chinese. Japanese and Korean. Um, today verse from the Matthew chapter 5 and verse 48. 所以你们要完全像你们的天父完全一样. それだからあなた方の天の父が完全であられるようにあなた方も完全なものとなりなさい. 그러므로 하늘에 계신 너희 아버지가 완전하신 것처럼 Let's look at the vocabulary. I introduced the common vocabulary first, and then uh, Japanese, Korean, Chinese vocabulary on their own. So the first one, suoi, this one is the conjunction for the cause and effect. Uh, Japanese, sore dakara, Korean, kromuro. And the next one, Heavenly Father, tian fu, den no chichi, hanel aboji. Next one, 완全, 간센, 완전하다, which means to be perfect. And also in Chinese, 완全 means complete. Japanese and Korean means to be perfect. Next one, 像, 什么什么, 一样, Japanese, 有你, Korean, 처럼. And the next one, 你们, 아나타가다, 너희. So as you see here, Chinese, Korean, Japanese, they share the common vocabulary a lot. And Japanese, no is Korean ui, Chinese do, uh, which means possessive function. The next one, dearu. Uh, this one is copula, so which means in English to be, to exist, and Chinese shi, equal, and ida in Korean. Next one, mono, person, zhen, saram. And naru means to become, cheng wei, dueda. And then next one, Korean vocabulary, geishida, which means to exist, to stay. This one is the honorific form of itta. The next one, connective toro. The meaning is to the point where. But this one is a, a closer connective. Um, we're going to cover this one later. Next one, Chinese vocabulary, uh, auxiliary verb, yao, which means should. In Japanese, beki. And Korean heyahata or ayahata. Okay, the first grammatical topic is the subject particle. In the last video, uh, I explained topic particle for Japanese and Korean, and Chinese doesn't have particle. But you put the topic first, and then you add a comment, your own comment, and the structure is the same: topic and comment structure. And also, the topic can be subject, object, instrument, place, 
whatever. So happy can be the subject, and then subject has the particle in Japanese and Korean. Japanese subject particle is ka, and Korean subject particle is e and ka, depending on the phonetic environment. That is the subject ending with consonant, you put e. The noun that ends with vowel, you add ka. Let's see the example sentence. 天气很好. 天上没有乌云. As you see here, Chinese doesn't have particle. So word order decides the grammatical function of the word. And then 很好 is the uh, comment. Here, 很 means very. 好 means good. Uh, in Chinese, usually they put 很 before the adjective. Let's see the Japanese sentence. 天気が晴れた. 空には雲がありません. Here, 天気 is the subject, and you add the subject particle ka. Japanese doesn't matter with the ending consonant or vowel. In Korean, uh, you have to consider the phonetic environment. 날씨가 맑아요. Here, 날씨, weather, the noun ending with vowel, so that's why you put ka. 하늘에 구름이 없어요. 구름. The cloud, uh, 구름 is ending with a consonant, and then you add e. Okay, let's see the next sentence. My teacher is good. 我的老师很好。私の先生はいいです。제선생님이좋아요. So, uh, Japanese, uh, 私の先生は先生 is the subject. And then this example sentence had the topic marker wa, but because this is the subject, so you can add, you can replace with ga. So, 私の先生がいいです. And Korean, 선생님, the noun 선생님 ending with consonant, that's why you add the particle e. Okay, it's a simple. So, subject marker, today is the grammar topic. I like to suggest you to uh, create a sentence on your own about what you see in your place. And then if you can, try to write down. Let me show you an example in Chinese. 房间里有椅子,有桌子, uh, or 有椅子. Japanese, 机会があります. Korean, 책상이 있어요. And there are a lot of stuff in your room, so please describe your room, what you have in your place, and try to use the subject particle for each language. But Chinese, just you put simply uh, the subject, and then you just add adjective or verb. Okay, that's it. This is today's class. Thank you. See you next time.